Now, after Christmas, you claim that the reality was that Bob over there also caused some damage, correct? Yeah. What damage did Bob cause? Um, the blinds in, in the conservatory. Understood. Uh, let's have a look. Very serious again. Now, I have to tell you, madam, these are helpful photographs because they give people a sense of what you're taking on and how serious you have to be if you are going to be somebody that takes on board an African grey parrot, right? Definitely. Now, sir, why do you believe this happened? Because Bob um, is, is a naughty teenager. Um, he, he'll just do anything to get into mischief. If you tell him not to do something, that is the only thing he wants to do. And Rebecca can't control him. She, she doesn't um, correct him. She doesn't tell him off. Bob? Does anybody tell you off? Bob? Doesn't have much to say today. So you can't make him speak on command. It's when he wants and when he's happy and he'll say what he wants. I can get Doris to dance. Well, how does Doris dance? What am I... <laughs> Doris, you're dancing. There you go. Well, all I can say is that um, if I were Craig Revel Hood, I'd give it an eight. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca, Glenn, you claim to me that this is a special case. In other words, you're entitled to claim here because you gave specific instructions when you went to the door to Glenn that he was immediately to supervise the bird, in this case Doris, because of the damage that was reasonably foreseeable when you weren't supervising her. I'm not confident that Glenn heard that instruction. Even if I was confident, bearing in mind the risk that you admit that there is of having these lovely creatures in the house, you wouldn't be able to recover in any event because it is a joint risk that the two of you have agreed to. Consequently, despite the real distress this caused you, you are unable to claim for your laptop. And so I have to say, I'm disappointed to say, that your case is dismissed, but it was a privilege to meet both of you. Thank you. Thank you, Judy. Rebecca's case was dismissed and she was awarded nothing by the court. Let's find out how both parties felt about the judge's ruling. Why should I buy the blinds and the skating board? And the laptop. Well, why should because I? Because you're, you're your laptop. I understood what judge was saying, but at the end of the day, I did lose eight hours of work and I had to restudy that eight hours. And I did definitely 100% say to my husband, that please look after me, uh, laptop. I think if anything, rather than train the birds, it should be to train Rebecca in, into locking the cages properly. If it's my skirting board and my bird that's done it, why should I buy it? Yeah. Because you love me. <sighs> Don't be stupid. Stay and watch the best judge rind of moments. And I'm talking. Understood? Don't be a moron. Subscribe to Judge Rinder YouTube channel. Right now, that's an order.